Hey, good morning. My name is Jason Smith. I'm a practice director here at KNFT Staffing Resources. We're a sister company of the Bank W Staffing World. This morning, I just wanted to give you what I consider being a strong interview tip for you to use in each interview that you go on over the next few months. And good luck to everyone who's interviewing. Here it is. One of the things we talk to all of our candidates about is how do you find a way to differentiate yourself from all the other candidates in the marketplace? Is it technology? Is it past experience? Is it education? One of the things we really want you to think about is this. Make sure on each interview, before you go into that organization, you understand that job really well so you can give them at least one or two items that will differentiate yourself from other folks interviewing for that position. And again, education, experience, soft skills, and technology skills are a great thing to use. Hey guys, how you doing? Greg Matakis here from KBW Financial Staffing and Recruiting. Hope all is well. Uh, kind of crazy times right now, isn't it? Uh, I'm a senior recruiter for uh, KBW. I've been here 10 years. We focus on accounting and finance positions. So during these crazy times, I wanted to give you a couple of tips for remote interviews. Uh, they're definitely going to be the norm going forward. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you treat it as, a, uh, as an interview. Don't look at this as just because it's a, a video interview that you really don't have to prepare or you don't have to do anything for this. But you want to make sure that uh, you know, you, you're know you prepared for this. Do your research on the company and the interviewer. Dress the part and show some enthusiasm. Most impor importantly here, be in an area free of distractions. No televisions, no kids, nothing going on. Lastly, remember to make a lasting impression on that interviewer. Hey everyone, this is Nick Congdon, Senior Recruiting Manager at KBW Financial Staffing and Recruiting. I wanted to share two quick interview tips for everybody. The first one is keeping your answers short and concise. The second one is asking good questions at the end of the interview. Oftentimes, candidates will ramble on and just be passionate about their experience and they need to keep it short and concise and to the point. So tip number one is focus on short and concise examples and get right to the point with your experience. Tip number two, ask good interview questions at the end of the interview. I recommend asking questions about the challenges or the pain points or projects on the horizon that the hiring manager is dealing with. If you can ask about those and then draw connecting lines of your experience and how it relates to what they're going through and explain how you can add value right away, that really helps the end of the interview. Hello, my name is Nicole Jones and I'm an executive coach and the founder and CEO of Nicole Jones Coaching. I'd like to share three tips for remote interviews. First, dress for the occasion. Many of us have gotten relaxed during the current time of working from home, which has quickly crossed over to our personal lives of juggling housework, cooking dinner, or maybe even homeschooling. Put your best foot forward. Second, pretend you are doing the interview in the employer's office. Make sure to be present, enunciate your words, and look directly into the camera when you are talking to the interviewer. This will help you as well as them to stay engaged during the interview. Third and finally, express to the interviewer the value that you bring to the workplace. Let them know what makes you unique. Don't be afraid to share your superpower, own it. Hey, Green State College students and alumni. My name is Crystal Hicks, and I am the career strategist and founder of Job Talk, a career counseling practice in the Seacoast. And after 12 years of jobs being my job, I can tell you that one of the things I say constantly to my clients is you do not have to be the best candidate on paper to get that job. In fact, the best candidate rarely is the person who gets it. It's usually just a great candidate that knew how to stand out from all the other great candidates because there always will be. You will always be up against the volume. So one of the best ways of standing out from that volume is following up after you apply. And I don't mean digging up some old email. I don't mean leaving a voicemail with reception. I mean finding the recruiter on LinkedIn and sending them a message. This way, you have the ability to get yourself in front of them and in one click, they can be on your profile and see if you're a great fit for that position. So make sure you stand out because less than 5% of applicants actually follow up. I want to give you some tips on remote interviewing. Definitely tough, a little bit awkward, but uh, here are three tips. One, treat it like a real face-to-face -face interview. Dress the part, uh, get excited about it, 
Um, make sure you have materials ready to go. Uh, be prepared. And turn off your phone. You know, treat it like a real interview. Number two, bring more energy than usual. Definitely awkward and weird staring at a computer much like this and having a conversation with somebody. Uh, but bring that energy, a little bit more uh, enthusiasm than usual. And number three, it might get it might be tough to, to get into the office and understand the culture. So I think it's really important to ask a lot of questions and vet out this opportunity as best as you can. Really dive into some of the actual you know, uh, cultural pieces, um, ask about management styles, ask to talk to other individuals within the, uh, the department, within the company, um, and even going deeper than that actual interview. See if you can get more conversations going.